here in the basement um, at uh, Charlene, Charlene's house. And uh, we're looking at replacing a furnace, maybe the AC, going to have a look outside, see what we got out there. Um, so we're high efficiency. You can see the three inch flue. It's making its way out to the back of the um, property and it's a, it's a one pipe, so it's sucking the combustion air um, out of the basement. And I'm going to check the calcs on the size of the basement. It looks like it's um, big enough to um, comply with the code, but I'm going to double check on that. Um, as far as the gas is concerned, um, we do have an isolating valve to shut everything off. And um, you can see the, the A coil on top. And on the planter, we've got, um, you know, we've got a lot of um, supplies kind of running everywhere. There's no main supply trunk. It's all coming off the planter. <coughs> off the air coil, excuse me. Electrics, they're in a conduit. I didn't see a shut off switch down there, but it is in a conduit, so that's good. As far as the drain goes, if we do do AC as well, drain's just kind of tucked around a corner here, so that's good. Filter at the moment looks like it's getting changed inside the furnace. Um, you can see the uh, return drop. It's coming down out of that panning. And then we've got this transition piece um, you know, to marry up with the furnace. So furnace is 46 inches high. So we've got plenty of height um, compared to the new furnace. As far as access is concerned, this is not a walkout situation. So um, we're going to take it out up through some steps um, to get to the outside. Um, electrics, we've got a nice new panel right behind me here. Cut a hammer. And you can see that that furnace is on a 15 amp um, circuit breaker. AC is on a 20 amp. And um, I'll have a quick look at that outside. That's it.